Ha ha! I don't even need a weapon! Good morning, friends. I'm Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. It's still super early in the morning. 3.40 in the morning. Oh, and I'm feeling slight pain for some reason. What the feck? Why? Oh, because I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that trait. Oh, fuck, it hurts. <laughs> what hurts? I, I don't know. <laughs> My leg, it just really hurts. Oh, what the fuck ever, little Dayton. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna try and find my way back home, and uh, eventually I'll probably come to the mall again because we found out that we can do it and not die, at least that time, so I'm willing to roll the dice again. It was a, a relatively fruitful venture, although I only got like mostly fishing traps and shit to make fishing traps and some more nails, but all of those are things that we need. We require all of these things, so um, yeah. No problem there. There's there's a lot more at the mall, I'm sure, that we also require, but I just ain't got the room for it. I ain't got no room for it. I should have grabbed an axe, and then I could uh, make like a little hidey hovel near the mall, and just uh, as I pull shit out, I can stack it up inside the, the hovel. But, um, yeah, I, I was trying to cut down on space and didn't bring my axe, so we're not going to be chopping down any trees today. It is going to get worse over here, though. That is for sure. The zombies just doing their work. They're like, hey, we didn't get you this time, but next time, fucker. <laughs> and I'm like, good luck, asshole. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Should I level sneaking? That seems fun. Light-footed and nimble, but look at all this other shit. How did blunt accuracy hardly level? I killed so many zombies in there, bro. Bro, let me tell you. Oh well, it be what it be. We're on the on the road again. That's always nice. And uh, I'd like to tell you guys just a little story, if you'd be privy to that, because uh, that's the best thing on a long road trip. You get your story on. This is a story called Homeward. He stumbled. He knew the way, or at least he was reasonably sure he did, but he had a hard time staying on track. He fell. He decided to stay there for just a minute and catch his breath. When he got up, a moan escaped his lips. He didn't hurt exactly, but he was frustrated. He looked up at the afternoon sun and didn't remember it getting so late. Where did the time go? He just shrugged and walked it off. Home. That was his thought process. I have to get home. He'd been drunk before, of course. There were times when he couldn't remember events from a night of revelry. But he'd never had a substantial blackout before. For the life of him, he couldn't remember what had happened between doing shots at the bar and stumbling out now at least 16 hours later. Was he asleep? Where were his friends? Why did he only have one shoe? <laughs> he thought about asking the woman sitting in the park bench. Asking her what? He forgot. He was so confused, but he felt that he couldn't possibly still be drunk. My god, he thought, am I sick? The lady on the park bench was pretty, so he moved in her direction. She looked past him. He loomed over her, and she continued to ignore him. Hey, he tried to say, but his words came out in a gasp. Tongue-tied, he just stood there trying to ask a simple question without appearing like a fool or a simpleton. He just needed to use her phone. If she had one. He grew nervous and agitated. It was like he was stuck in a dream, and he couldn't get the words out. All she did was dismissively grunt in his general direction. He knew when to take a hint, so he kept walking towards home. He wasn't tired, but annoyed and hungry. There was a shadowy spot underneath an old oak. He liked how the moss hung to give him shade. So he sat down, leaning against the trunk. He looked back towards the hotel, but couldn't see it. Where were his friends? What happened to the bachelor party? He didn't remember walking so far, but things had been a mess since waking up. His eyes wandered the streets around him, and he thought it odd how there was absolutely no vehicle traffic. Cars had stopped in some places, and the roads were completely clear in others. Vaguely, he registered the sounds of alarms and horns blaring in the distance. He saw a lot of folks walking, not seemingly in a hurry, and completely unconcerned about the heat of the day. 
He drifted off, tired of thinking, tired of trying to remember and piece it all to, piecing it all together. Awareness floated back to him on the beams of a full moon. He was walking again, just as confused as earlier, but at least he was no longer hungry. He found it odd that he was now barefoot, but he didn't dwell on it. He had to get home. He smiled as he remembered being this drunk once before. He was being led back to the hotel from a night on River Street by his less inebriated friends. He became obsessed with the fact that his wife was missing. Where did she go? Is she okay? He yelled, and he lit out to find her at a full trot. A Keystone Cops moment followed, wherein he ran circles around an old weathered brick building that housed the nice club, chased by four of his closest and dearest friends. And when he finally stopped running, because he found her safe and sound hugging a lamp post, the almost sober of the group ushered the concerned parties to the suite before the police could get involved. Lost in thought, he tripped over something on the shoulder of the interstate. Wait, the interstate? Headlights in the distance illuminated his path. He looked down at what nearly made him fall, and he couldn't tell for sure what it was, but it was slippery, and it smelled delicious. A food truck accident, he thought? He shambled towards the headlights, intending to wave them down for a ride. He reached out to them, waving his hands. The car swerved towards him, and didn't slow down. Confusion turned to anger when a side mirror grazed his arm. He spun around and landed in a ditch. The car kept going. Red tail lights in the distance, weaving around other vehicles in the dark. Anger added itself to the perpetual confusion and frustration. He tried to get back up, but he found his left arm uncooperative. He roared in fury and slowly got back to his feet. He looked down, and in the moonlight, his arm hung limply. It was twisted, and obviously broken. Wow, I must really be blitzed, he hazily thought. There was no pain, so he walked on. Slowly, the miles melted away as surely as his thoughts. Blackouts became more common. Words became disjointed images in his mind. And soon, the only two things he knew were hunger and the need to go home. Time became a blur. Discomfort became a comp constant companion. And anger colored everything with a hazy white film. Days became nights. And strangers shambled beside him. He didn't speak. After it became obvious they would ignore him. He began to return the favor. He finally recognized the exit ramp for home. He left a pack of weary travelers that had both welcomed and spurned him, and he refused to rest until he could do so in his own bed. His wife and children should surely be worried sick, and the missus would probably be angry that he hadn't called. She never really wanted him to go off to Savannah with the boys for the bachelor party anyways. These thoughts seeped in and leaked out just as quickly, and it was hard to concentrate. He vaguely remembered being upset that she hadn't come looking for him, but these complex ideas, too, just became images. Home. Hunger. Eat when I get there. Rest when I get home. One foot in front of the other. Fall down. Get up. Keep going. Home. Hunger. Her. Love. Longing for her. Longing for home. Blackout. He couldn't get inside. The front door wouldn't open. He knocked with his good arm. He beat at the door with both arms in a slow motion frenzy as frustration mounted and became anger. Ever present under his roiling emotions, that hunger just kept gnawing at him. I'm home. Let me in, he thought. But the reality was that only a growl escaped his dried, cracked lips. He heard crying from inside. Something was wrong. The need to feed flailed, flared in a white-hot fury, and his anger peaked. He knocked louder, and he yelled for her to let him inside. His arms flailed against the doors, and his groans became a constant growl. Finally, the door opened, and there she was. He saw a flash of light, but he never realized that it was the flash of a muzzle. The sound of thunder that escaped into the pines and elms surrounding their secluded country house never reached his ears. He finally stopped walking, stopped moaning, stopped longing. There will be others. Close the door and let's get the barricade back in place before they get here. We need to bury him, Mama. He's been missing since this thing started. But now he's home and we need to take care of Dad. 
That's not your daddy anymore, baby. He died weeks ago. Under the cover of darkness, as quietly as they could, they laid him to rest ne next to the rest of the family members. Each of them in a shallow makeshift cemetery that had been driven by longing and hunger. Each of them that had been looking for a missing piece of themselves that could only be found back home. Ooh. He was a zombie the whole time. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? Okay, exertion's getting a little high. Let's uh, stop off for just a moment. See if I can work that off. I got a little confused going back until I saw that uh, split in the road and the bridge. I forgot that there was a, a river right next to the, the path to the mall. But since we've made the trip once, I assume that we can make it now as many times as we please. Uh, although it is obviously quite a trip to make. Um, here we go. Just fast forward. Get that exertion off so I can start my, my running again. You know I'm quite a runner. I got a bunch of sprinting points. Look at that. Level 6 sprinting. That's me, bro. I'm just too fast for these zombies. I wish I could uh, level it up even quicker, but it is one of those skills that just takes a long fucking time to get there. 3000 XP, and then it's like, I guess you get 1 XP per kilometer, or like 2.6 per mile, or some shit like that. I don't know how the math works out, I've, I've completely forgotten. Um, because it's not a formula I use that often. Who converts distances? Especially distances that big. If you're asking me like centimeters versus feet versus inches, then uh, yeah, I could probably work that out for you. I'll work that out for you just fine. But let me tell you something nice about living in the Philippines, all right? They, they use kilometers and shit for uh, the road, but then if you ask somebody how tall they are, they're like, oh yeah, five foot, six foot. And I'm like, I understand that shit. I don't know what the hell a kilometer is. What are you talking about with kilometers? But uh, then you ask somebody their weight and they're like, hey, such and such kilograms. And I'm like, oh fuck. Now we're back to it. I don't know what you're talking about again. Uh, <laughs> kilograms, I do know the formula. 0.454. Multiply by 0.454 and you'll, uh, you'll have your kilograms. Or is it divide? Shit. I think it's multiply. I'm not sure. <sighs> No, 454 uh, pounds is like a kilogram or something like that. I don't know why I'm trying to get all scientific and shit here. This is not the place or the time for it. Because guess what? Society is just collapsed. Nobody talks about shit anymore except for like, I'm hungry. I need food. Feed me now. Alright, this is the, uh, the turn off to the drag strip. I should probably leave something here uh, just as like a... A little reminder, a little, little, hey, you should turn this way, but what to get rid of? I could drop one bandage, that's fine. There, so you know, so, so if you go that way, it's like, hey, you might get hurt. This is the dangerous way to go. There's lots of fucking zombies in the mall. Yes, yes, there is. But we, we made it. We kind of cleared it out a little bit. I feel, I feel constructive. I feel good. I, I hesitated for so many episodes and then finally I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it. If I die, then I die. But, yeah. I, I'm completely kind of shocked <laughs> that I made it through. That's amazing! I don't know how I did it, but by the grace of God, his hand came down and stopped those motherfucking zombies! Hashtag Pulp Fiction reference. Oh, did I eat half of that? I wanted to eat the whole thing. Please, no. I'm I'm hungry, boy. I am so hungry, boy. Please feed to me some zucchini. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know why I took this fucking Smith & Wesson, but I didn't take the, the browning. That doesn't make any sense. Here, let's take this slightly shitty handgun, but leave the rifle. The extremely usable rifle. I guess it's because my uh, accuracy is pr still pretty shit. <laughs> I don't have much in the way of accuracy. Oh, look at that. Foraging level. Did I say I wasn't going to level that? Well, guess what? I lied. I'm a level sneaking, too. 
because that came out pretty useful in the mall. But I want to keep one more skill point available so I can uh, bump carpentry when it comes to it, blunt accuracy when it comes to it. We're pretty close to another skill point, 95 experience, so things are going nice. I didn't think I'd make it so far in Project Zomboid. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to play this uh, solo survival. It's going to probably take me 20 episodes to die, and then that'll be fine. But now we're pushing 90 episodes. What the fuck? What the hell? And so I had to uh, bump it up to twice a week, or else it's going to take me five years to finish Project Zomboid. <laughs> And I don't ever play it outside of uh, recording it, which is kind of interesting. There's been times when I wanted to boot it up and I'm like, nope, nope, don't fuck up your save file. That would be bad. So uh, all of the learning that you see is done on screen, which might be frustrating for some people. It's a little frustrating for me to have to sit here and look like an a-hole. <laughs> I want to look like I know what I'm doing all the time, but guess what? That doesn't happen. Not in Project Zomboid, not in real life. Especially not in real life. Oh my god. What a screw up I am here, huh? We are extremely drowsy now. I'm going to uh, hit the restaurant base once we get back into town. Hmm. Yep, yep. We're, we're just hanging in there. Just a little bit. Should I follow the railroad tracks? I can't remember. I'll see a flashlight and then I'll be like, oh, that's my way home. That's my way home! Is it up here? Yes. Excellent! All my landmarks are working wonderfully! I should have started doing this a long, long time ago. But, uh, yeah. I didn't have the foresight. I wasn't so, so smart then. I'm getting a little smarter now, but still not smart enough to uh, qualify myself as an actual human being. You see, I'm a simple mongoloid <laughs> with a baseball bat. But you need to be careful, boy, because that retard strength, let me tell you something about that. Mmm! I'll break down a door with one swing of this motherfucking baseball bat. That's why it only has one star on it, because I, uh, I swing it so very hard. That's a good idea. I'm gonna drop this fucking thing. I don't need this. Oh. Do not drop all of that. I will be extremely mad at you. Drop just just this one thing. Go ahead. And now we're running around unarmed. Ha ha! I don't even need a weapon! That's how good I am! I think this is a uh, grocery store? No. Well, my base is around here. This is where I stole all those door for door. <laughs> doorknobs and shit from. Look at how shitty this uh, fence looks compared to the ones I'm making now. My god. I could go through and upgrade it, which is a really nice thing. I was thinking I would have to knock down everything, but uh, tis not the case at all. So thank god for the foresight of the Project Zomboid developers. Let's uh, climb into my little hidey hole. Hello, house. I need a nap. Let's have a little nappy nap. Then I'll drop off my uh, my fishing supplies. Holy shit. Hear that car outside? Let's get a barbed wire tattoo, bro. We're cool. I just watched the Fast and the Furious movies. Let me tell you. <laughs> God damn. That's an old reference. Alright, climb through. Very nice. And I left this door open for some reason. Not good, Dayton. Not good. And these are the uh, the nice fences. Bowls of gruel, if anybody would like that. Oh, it's rotten now. Shit. How did this happen? Oh yeah, I left it outside in the sun. But it's just a combination of uh, water and flour, so I don't think it would really get rotten. It would just dry up and be nothing. Ants would come and take it away. Oh my god, I bet there's so many ants and insects and mice and shit. This world's being taken back by the animals. That's fucked up, bro. I would fight that guy, but I don't have a fucking weapon. I should have grabbed one from the base. Oh well. I keep this place relatively clean. Because this is my neck of the woods, son. Nobody's coming this way, kid. And if they do, I'm gonna brain them, dude. <laughs> Trying to think of another, uh, another nickname for... for 
what you would call somebody who is a, a male friend of yours. I just call a male friend. Hello, male friend. And I don't have any female friends, so... So that's a thing. <laughs> and if you do have a female friend, uh... One of you probably wants to fuck the other one, because that's... That's how things like that work. And now I'm married, so, uh... My wife... My, my wife knows what's up. She's, like, smart. She's like, you don't have any female friends. And I'm like, you don't have any male friends. She's like, I don't. And I'm like, I don't. And, and then we hug. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, shit. Here's my action figure. My Darth Sidious action figure. Play with. Womp, womp. Luke, I am your father. No, it's not true. It's impossible. Cut your hand off. Okay, that was fun. Where's my baseball bats? I have a baseball bat somewhere in this thing. Unless I didn't, I didn't grab any. I haven't been so good about grabbing baseball bats and shit because I usually already have one on me wherever I go. So if I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank God. I thought it was going to go terribly. How's the condition of this, though? Two, two points? That's, that's not great. Let's see. I brought some wood glue, didn't I? Did I not take any wood glue? Dayton, Dayton, you're fucking up, kid. You are fucking up. Alright, that's fine. I have a bunch of wood glue here. That's why I didn't grab any. So here. Get some wood glue on it. Boom! Now it's up to four stars. What do you think of that, sucker? Um... I'll put my wood glues away. Alright. So... Where would I store the fishing traps? Firstly, firstly, first things first, uh, I should probably place some fishing traps in the water for the ones that I've broken. Which it seems not so many are broken. Well, if I check the traps, then, then we'll probably get a couple of broken ones. That's just how things like this work. Check this one. Check this one. Check that one. Hmm. Lots of little bait fish. Oh, broke it. I broke it! You see that? I need, uh... One more. Unpack. Unpack them all? Sure, whatever. Do what you want! Okay? I'm not in control here, I'm just sitting in a chair while I watch this character do things. Check trap. Mm. Ooh, six fish in there. That's nice. That's nice, we've been catching them all day, kid! There's only one in there. That's not, not good. I don't like that. And I kind of lose track of uh, which ones I've checked so far. So if I skipped one and you're screaming at the screen, then I apologize for that. I think, I think I'm doing okay with this so far. I'm pretty sure. Wow, I can check the trap from all the way over here. I'm like Stretch Armstrong or some shit. I don't want to place all of my uh, fishing nets, though. I'll leave the broken one. No, recycle the broken one. And get my wire back. Give me my fucking wire back. Yeah. All right. I should make some shelves for the, the lower part, but I know they just end up getting fucked up like everything else here. I don't have a system. I can't keep track of anything. It's just like in real life. Okay, fishing nets, you can go here. Box of MREs, a little bit of pop. That's not gonna be good when it's warm, but oh well. Energy drink, a mm, little better than pop when it's warm, but yeah. Still not my favorite. I got a shit ton of little bait fish. I have to go stash those somewhere. I will put my, my wee ponds away. All of these wee ponds. Is there enough space? I guess there is. That's a lot of shotgun shells. I don't know how they all fit on there. Shotgun shells are heavy, bro. You ever hold a box of them? It's like fucking holding dark matter in your hands. <laughs> Feels like it's gonna just break through your skin. And then you put it in a, in a shotgun and you're like, oh, that's why it's heavy. It's gotta shoot all this metal stuff everywhere. That makes sense. Now it's 8, 8.30. It's getting, it's getting to be my bedtime friends. 
ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, according to my analytics. <laughs> but you know, I, I I don't blame the ladies for not watching. Who wants to watch some some weirdo braining a bunch of zombies and shit, saying bad words to the camera? That's not that's not fun. That's not fun for the people. I guess I don't know. I I think the Remington should go with the action figure, but um. It doesn't fit on that shelf, so I'm not gonna not gonna stress it too much. We'll put it here with the adult magazine because shotguns are for adults, magazines are for adults with the with the titty pictures in them. Y'all like their titty pictures? That's right. <laughs> um, twine, wire, box of nails. Okay, we offloaded pretty good. Yeah. I still don't know where most of this weight is coming from, though. Smoke bomb's not that heavy. 1.5 pounds. Hmm. Bottle of disinfectant. I guess it must be all the shit that I'm wearing. Does that factor in? It must. Hmm. Oh, probably these bait fish, too. But they'll be good till tomorrow. You can, you can leave raw fish in a bag overnight and eat it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't get a disease or anything. I am thirsty though. Okay, fuck it. I'll make a quick run. B double E double R U N B run. B double E double R U N B run. All you need is a ten and a five or some cars and the keys and a sober driver. B double E double R U N B run. And that's the beer run song, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you'll enjoy it the next time we go for a drink of water, not beer. Um, we got room in this fridgy. This is not the one where I keep the... Oh, yes it is. It's got the crappy fish and the pike in it. So I could... Oh my god. It's full. This fridge is full. How did the fridge get full? I, I guess I could put like these, uh, these tiny little fishes in, a, in the oven and see if they won't cook or something like that. They should, right? Whatever. I'll put them in this fridge, because this fridge is much bigger. Don't you see? Look at that. 2.8 pounds. Mmm. Feeling slim. Feeling light. Feeling lovely. And, uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna have to dig for my fishing pole and axe and all that shit that I shoved somewhere in the shelves. Because, uh, we're, we're back to business again. Back to the, back to the huge, you know. I hope there's no fucking zombies that snuck in here. No. It's not rust. The zombies aren't that sneaky. Anyways, friends, I've been Brenda Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. Um, Project Zomboid has been doing really, really good on my channel recently, so... I hope to keep it going for much longer. Super glad we didn't die in the mall and made it back home safely. Ah, I hope you're glad as well. If you are, yeah, the like thing that I said before. And, and that tells me that, that you liked it. And if you dislike it, then that's like, date night, I wish that you did die. Which, you know, that's fair too. <laughs> Some days I wish that too. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And until then, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.